Hi everyone, it's Angela French from Really Good Stuff. Happy first day of fall, or happy autumnal equinox. Now, the equinox has something to do with the planets and the moon and the sun and gravity, all mixed in there. All I know is I can definitely balance an egg on the autumnal equinox. I wish I had brought eggs here with me tonight. Have you tried it at home? It's awesome. It'll work. It may be a little tough. And sometimes you just have to change eggs because sometimes one end's too pointy to do it. Um, like I said, I wish I'd brought some so I could do it for you, but I will definitely do some after I get home and I will post them on my Instagram. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, it's at really good stuff, Angela. So follow me over there and I'll post a picture of my balancing an egg. It does work. It takes practice, but it does work. So before we get started today, I want to tell you that I'm going to be choosing 15 winners. Now those 15 winners are going to get three of our exclusive t-shirts. That's the prize for tonight, which is so awesome. So in order to be in that drawing, make sure you like or give me a little emoji heart. Make sure you share if you wish, if you want to, um, but definitely leave a comment. You can comment just about anything. What would you like to see us talk about? What are you doing to do voting in your classroom? How is your year going? I know a lot of us are stressed. I know when I went to college, they did not teach virtual teaching. So we're all learning it. Just hang in there. I know it's stressful. Also make sure you take a little time for yourself. So speaking of fall, there's something that happens in the fall and that's voting. This year we're voting for a new president. Now, no matter what your view is, it's a little hectic out there about who's gonna win. So a lot of teachers like to have their kids vote for president. My personal opinion, I don't like doing that because basically the kids don't really know what they're voting for or who they're voting for. What they know is what they've heard around their household. So to me, asking a kid to vote for president is basically asking who their parents are going to vote for for president. But I do believe teaching voting to kids is important, but I think it should be done on their level. I wrote a blog about this. Um, if you'd like to read more about it or many of our other lovely blogs, you can go to blog.reallygoodstuff.com and there's all our blogs there. We have lots of tips and tricks, things that you may be able to use, things you may learn from, make sure you comment. Again, we love the interaction, the discussion with you guys. So today we're gonna to talk about all our voting stuff. I will make sure that there is a link on here, a bit.ly link where you can click on it and it'll take you to all our voting stuff. And let's get started. So the first thing you need when you vote is you need a voting booth. So basically in one of our kits, we gave you a red and a blue privacy shield to keep it patriotic. So you want to set this up so that when the kids come to the counter or wherever, they can do their little vote in private and then they can put their slip in the ballot box. Now again, what are we going to vote for? Let's be creative. So one of the things we have are these official ballots. Aren't they adorable? Now here's the thing. You see this whole brick? You get 500 of these. And the reason you get 500 is not to last you, last you every <laughs> presidential race for the next century. It's so you can get your kids to vote on other things. So let's talk about some things you may want to vote on. So let's pretend your class earned um, a special treat on Friday. So right here where it says four, we're going to put special treat. And then your kids are going to list the choices. Is our special treat a movie, pajama day, stuffed animal day, hat day, crazy hair day, sunglasses, whatever. You know, I know some of you are virtual. You can still do pajama day. You can still do stuffed animal day. You can do a lot of these things. And I highly encourage you to keep it as normal as possible to what you normally do. So again, you have 500 of these and the kids can simply check off 
for those of you that are in a little bit of older grades, I think second above, maybe even first above, they can write the selections. You display it on the board, they have to write them in, and then when they come up, they can vote and put it in the box. Now, I know some of you are like, I'm virtual, how do I do voting? I, I know a lot of you are sending packs home weekly. So hey, let's do what the whole country's doing. You have the option of a mail-in ballot. So if you put this in their pack with a little instruction letter about what they're gonna do, they can fill this out and when the parent returns the pack the next week or whatever, there's your mail-in ballot. Or if you're in the classroom, you can definitely do it there. Now, how fun would it be on video to pull them out one at a time? You kind of look like Survivor, like, ooh, we gotta vote for this, we gotta vote for this. And have one of your kids, you know, take a tally or have a couple kids take a tally to make sure that, you know, that it's correct, the outcome. So when they're voting, we have these adorable pencils that they can use. It has red and white eraser at the top. It's a white pencil with blue and red sparkly stars. And then it has a blue ferrule. How many of you knew that this metal part of a pencil is called the ferrule? I never knew that. But I remember the first pencil I made here at Really Good Stuff, they were like, well, what color ferrule do you want? And I'm like, what's a ferrule? It sounds like a lost cat or something. So a little fun trivia for you there. Uh, make sure you're commenting about how you do voting in your class. Another thing is once the child turns in their ballot or mails you in their ballot, you can send this home, this, this sticker, or give this to them. Um, half of them say my vote counts and the other half say I voted. Now you get 72 of these in this pack of stickers. So you could actually cut them apart and give everybody one for one vote, the other for the other vote, all those things. So again, my opinion on how to teach voting and I would always encourage you to do it often. Don't just do it once during the school year. Anytime there's a decision to be made instead of raising hands, it's a great opportunity to teach the kids about voting and democracy, but teach it at their level. Again, my opinion, I would like to have the kids vote on things that they really understand and has a direct effect on them. Not that the president doesn't have an effect on them, but what we're having for Fun Friday is more of a direct effect to them. So anyway, I hope everyone is staying happy, staying healthy, and you're getting through the school year, just know you're doing a good job. Even if you're messing up, you're doing a great job. Trust me, we're all new at this. I shouldn't say we, I should say you. I am a teacher, but I'm not in the classroom this year. I just know you guys are dealing with a lot of stuff and I hope you're getting the love and support and make sure you take some time for yourself. I vote that you take care of you. Anyway, Join us back here on Thursday to see Nicole, and I will see you next Tuesday. Go bounce those eggs, guys. Bye.